It is going to be a fantastic day in the world of jailbreaking. Now we're back today with just a quick video this morning showing you guys how to download the brand new Chimera jailbreak onto your guys' devices directly on device with no computer required. But before we begin, definitely like, comment, and subscribe this video. Also, if you guys prefer a written tutorial, one is available on our Best Tech Info website. The link will be down below in this video's description, also where you can find both of the on-device methods that we're going to be demoing in this video. Now, as you guys might have known, as of late, a lot of the on-device signing platforms are being targeted and their certificates are being revoked. But as of recording this video, two of the most popular ones are working perfectly fine. And I'm speaking, of course, about Ignition and Tweakbox. Again, the download links to these will be down below in this video's description. You're basically going to download and install either one of these, whichever one you prefer. We can start off by going into Ignition right here. We can go to Packages right there on the second tab, go to Jailbreaks, and then we can scroll down to Chimera right there. And the really cool thing, this is already updated to version 1.0.2. Now, there were actually two updates pushed yesterday to the Chimera jailbreak that have fixed issues pertaining to iPad users trying to jailbreak. And I'm talking about the 2018 iPad Pros with the A12X processor. So if you guys were having errors jailbreaking your iPad, definitely update to the latest version. Anyway, Within Ignition, we can go ahead and just click Git right here, and then click Install. And now we can head back to the home screen, and the jailbreak is sideloading onto our device right now. As you guys can see, their signing service is currently working as it just installed the latest version right there. Very quickly within Tweakbox, if we go ahead and open that up, we can get rid of this little banner, head to Apps, head to Tweakbox Apps, and then scroll down right there, we have the Chimera Jailbreak. Um, unfortunately, this, however, is only on version 1.0.1. .1. So definitely do a quick Google search and figure out which is the latest version of this jailbreak and download that if you guys are jailbreaking for the very first time. Anyway, with the application installed, we can go ahead and launch it up right there. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of information right here. Now, if you have used the Uncover Jailbreak on your A12 devices in the past, I would definitely suggest everyone to do a restore root FS right there before actually jailbreaking for the very first time. But if your phone is on stock iOS, we can go ahead and click Jailbreak. Now, the jailbreak process will have to be run twice with this jailbreak utility, and it also improves the success rate of actually jailbreaking and re-enabling the jailbreak if you press jailbreak right after rebooting your device. Now, if you guys want a longer tutorial or more information, here it just says reboot required, so we're gonna go ahead and let it do its thing right here. But if you guys want more information or more in-depth analysis of this jailbreak, definitely check out our previous longer video explaining all the steps needed. And I went ahead and gave a little bit more background information. Today, I'm just doing a quick video to show you guys how simple it is to install the jailbreak directly on device. So now that the device has restarted, we can go ahead and open up the jailbreak utility one more time. Again, click jailbreak immediately right after rebooting, which again is kind of a new and interesting step, but the success rate of this jailbreak seems to work pretty well. I would say out of the five or six times I've actually jailbroke my devices, uh, it only has crashed once. So pretty good success rate right there for a brand new jailbreak and its very first release. So for whatever reason, the jailbreak utility always crashes out like that on me, but not to fear when I scroll to the second page. There we have it, Cilio. We can go ahead and click on that to launch it up. And there we have it. We are completely jailbroken and are ready to install tweaks and things like that. 
Now, a couple things here. One, a lot of repositories need to be updated, so you can actually install tweaks using Cilio on those repositories. If you guys are getting an error installing tweaks from certain repositories, it might actually mean that the developer of that repository or the host actually has to update their source before it will actually work on Cilio. The second main problem here is a lot of tweaks that are currently out there also need to be updated to include A12 and A12X support. So right now in its current state, either the tweak won't run, or secondly, when you guys install the tweak, it will run in the background, but if you guys try to go to the settings app and adjust any of the settings, unfortunately right now, the settings preferences of those tweaks will not work. And again, this is just for certain tweaks, and we'll just have to wait and see which tweaks get updated first. Again, I'll definitely be doing a Top Tweaks video as soon as possible once quite a few have been released. Now, right after jailbreaking, one update that needs to be manually applied, at least right now, again, this should change in the very near future, but one update is we need to update the preference loader tweak. Now this is a developer tweak that's going on in the background to actually load the preference panes, but it's located on this repo right here. I'll link it down below as well. If you guys copy that to the clipboard and navigate to sources, you can just click plus right there. It's going to manually find the source in your clipboard and you can just click add one source, just like that. So we can go ahead and refresh the sources right here once we have added it. And now if we actually go into packages to find the package that I'm talking about, you actually have to click on this little hamburger menu right here and go to developer if you guys are on user. So now when we go to search, if we search preferences, we're looking for that one right there, preference loader. So we can go ahead and click on that. And once we're here, then we can just click get to install it. It is in our queue. There are four packages queued right here. And as you guys can see, preference loader is going to install. This is also going to update substitute substrate compatibility layer and tweak injector. So we can go ahead and click confirm to apply these updates and click restart springboard. Again, eventually in the future, I'm guessing that will automatically happen right after jailbreaking, but right now it's kind of a manual fix that you have to do. So once again, this is going to be updated and pushed to an official repository very soon, but right now, for those people that want to jailbreak immediately and have most of their tweaks run, you also need to apply this update right here. Definitely follow this link right here. Again, I'll link it down below in this video's description. And then it's going to open up this guy right here. And once again, we can go ahead and click Git. And four packages, once again, are queued. It's going to update all of these packages right here. We can go ahead and click Confirm let it do its thing, click restart springboard. This is my favorite part, guys. Look how fast this respring's. It is immediate. So let's go ahead and try to install a package and see what happens. I know one tweak that works, for example, is called Meliore. So we'll go ahead and click that. Again, this is a custom volume HUD. It's by Spark Dev, and it's entirely free. So we can go ahead and click Q and go ahead and click confirm to install this tweak. Click restart springboard once again. I think I swiped down. Go ahead and click restart springboard. There we go. So now that our device has respring, we can go ahead and scroll down right here and check out Meliore. We can go ahead and enable this right here and uh, then go ahead and click respring once more to make sure this works. Then we can go to our home screen and let's see if this tweak has worked. And there we have it guys, our volume HUD has changed to Meliors right there. Again, this looks a little bit funky in this example, but you guys can move this volume HUD around to wherever you want. It's a pretty cool tweak to have. I used this one for a long time. Now, let me just show you guys real fast what I'm talking about as far as compatible tweaks and things like that. As you guys know, we just installed this. It's updated. It works perfectly fine. Also, I just showed that you can get into the settings of Meliore, but if a tweak has yet to be updated, like Noctis 12, if you click on that, it's going to say there was an error loading the preferences bundle for Noctis 12. 
And unfortunately guys, while the tweaks install and most of the time work, unfortunately their settings preferences bundle has yet to be updated, so you can't really change anything around. Again, all of these tweaks will manually have to be updated by the developers for them to work on A12 as well as on Cilio and things like that. Anyway, that's pretty much the jailbreak process. Those are a couple quick fixes that I wanted to let everyone know about today. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video on how to jailbreak your iOS 12, A12 devices like the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, as well as the 2018 iPad Pros directly on device. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video today, learning how to fix some of the important and major errors that you guys might be receiving right after jailbreaking. Anyway guys, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest updates pertaining to the Chimera jailbreak. Anyway guys, stay tuned. We have a lot of awesome content coming this week. Thank you all again so much for the incredible support, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.